And I always thought like that is massive for an artist who's come to a pro like a place to learn and grow. But I think going back to the first point we were talking about, it's like yeah, there's loads of people in this industry that, that are dog shit. But I just I don't know why we're talking. And then could you? What, how about you just take the whole shirt off and just wear a vest? Oh wow! And then like I'm there having like pictures in a vest because you know like take that you know like kind of boy band kind of style. I think that's all right. And then it it transformed into why don't you why don't you do it in your pants? And I'm like 16. What? And like, yeah, like, like, why don't, why don't you just? And I, I was aware enough to say no, that's not what I want to do. But at 16, they're still quite. That's a however, if I ask that now, <laughs> you'd be like, hey. yeah. But at 16, at 16, it is a, it is a world out there that is I dangerous. Knew that. No, they don't, don't know everything, mate. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah, it happens to. I don't think it's exclusive to, to females. I think it happens. The, to, the, to the first headshots well. I ever did. They tried to like... give me a bath as well. Like oh. if I'm going to finish that. Oh, so. yeah. And 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 I said no. Like that's not what I'm gonna. That's not what I'm about as an actor. But and at that time I did. I didn't tell anyone. Like I should have gone home yeah. and said to my parents, 100%. like this is what this is what's happened. This is. Um, yeah, that, that should have, but as a 16 year old, I wasn't aware enough to do that. I was just aware enough to say no. How did, how did that affect the, the next thing you went into? Were you kind of a bit nervous about, oh my God, is this going to happen again? Yeah, I guess so. I guess that did carry, carry with me for a while of like, oh, this, this industry is a bit dangerous. Like it isn't, it isn't necessarily, you're not around friendly people all the time. I, I was aware of putting somebody in a situation that they possibly felt yeah. uncomfortable. I was directing a production of Teachers, and uh, I needed uh, I needed a Gail. And also Gail. Uh, so one of the characters is called Gail. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, I specifically I had a a, a male character I had a, one of the girl characters who was dark haired with long hair. So in order to get a contrast, I wanted somebody with short blonde hair. So I put it out on I think it was. I don't know whether it was Mandy or one of those sort of like uh, internet sort of uh, things, uh, but I got a few responses and I, I was struggling to find a space to audition. I'd managed to get some space at the Playhouse, but on this one particular day with this one particular actress, I was struggling and I happened to have access to a, a room in um, the Latin Bush Centre, which is like a complex of sort of like office spaces uh, near here. Um, and that was all I had. And it was just very weird because I picked her up from the station and we were like kind of chatting and driving to this place and then going into this room that I had to unlock with a key. And it was like all very remote and I felt, oh God, I, I hope she feels all right. And, and then we kind of just ran some lines but she was completely putting all of her trust in me mm. and didn't know me from Adam. And I was, you know, kind of really aware that this was like, I hope this is, you know, she doesn't panic or anything like that. But obviously I'll just try to make her as comfortable as possible. But it was it was possibly the, the weirdest situation mm. I felt I'd put somebody in without meaning to make somebody feel uncomfortable. So... Aviana, what should someone like Jim have been thinking about from a, the union's perspective? What should Jim have been thinking about in regards to that performer? I suppose it's you email her beforehand and tell her precisely the address of where she'll be and how long she'll yeah. be there and what's expected of her when she is there. Um, I think he probably did all, did all the right things, I would imagine. I think you get a sense quite quickly of when someone is a serious person and when there's something wrong, you can tell quite quickly. I would say it's usually the tone of the messages. Um, I would I guess that your messages probably have a professional tone. Yeah. Um, I've had experiences where I was offered uh, a role by somebody um, who purported to be a filmmaker. There's so much of this. Again, it was through Mandy or one of these mm. sites. Um, and then I, he wanted to have a meeting to talk about it. And he said you know, he, was, he was texting and sort of DMing me through Instagram, because supposedly to talk about the role, which is fine. But there was something just off about the tone of the messages. Like he, one evening, quite late, he started liking quite a few of my posts. And I noticed, but I didn't say anything. 
And then in the DMs, it said, um, I hope you don't mind that I went on a bit of a liking spree through your posts. Mm. And I said, no, no, that that's fine. And then he said, why, do you want some more? Oh. And there's just there's some, the tone of the messaging is wrong. Mm -hmm. And then the following day, he sent... Um, so supposedly the character was a bit rebellious or something, fine, whatever. He sent me uh, images of t-shirts and on each t-shirt was a photograph depicting a different sexual position and sent me like about 10 of these different t-shirts and said, which one of these do you think your character would wear? So it's always, it's quite clearly an attempt to get me to say which position I like or some stupid thing, but it's done under the guise of, I'm just discussing, just discussing the character, that's all, you know, and you think. Um, and the following day, I actually decided to call him. I called him, I had his phone number, and I, I said, look, I think these messages are inappropriate, and, you know, if we're going to work together, I can't engage in this kind of texting with you. And... As soon as I called him out on it, the job disappeared, oh, and he uh, never contacted me ever again. Yeah, we, so I think as long as you're kind of not doing that, as long yeah, as you're yeah, not yeah, that, which yeah, it yeah. sounds like you weren't, you, yeah. you weren't pressuring her, you went out of your way yeah. to be to make her comfortable. Um, it sounds. I think he did everything right. 